Angler's Review, and I have little Brandon with me. He also loves to fish, and since Dad's at work, he's going to join me today. And we wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a tip on what helps us. So um, I've gotten a lot of questions recently about changing presentation. Now, for um, those of you who might be new to bass fishing or fishing in general, um, it gets kind of hard in the month of September with bass. They get really finicky, super picky, especially if you're fishing in a body of water that's been fished often. Um, you really have to entice them out. There's been a couple of times we've been out, we've had to change up our presentation uh, quite a few times before we get bites. That's just because they're lethargic, they're tired, um, they're ready to just kind of hang out and um, not really work for their food. So, and by presentation we mean lures. Um, each of your, you know, your lures, they're all going to have those little things. What do you have? Where you put the strings through. Each of them are, on each lure is a different okay. size. Because on this one was bigger, this one's smaller. And then this one's the same size. And what do you have right there? A uh, speedy shiner. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, speedy shiner. So, there have been times where I've had to try all of these. And finally, they go for, you know, um, either a cast master or up here, one of the lakes up here, they're really good with drop shotting. So, when it comes to changing your lures, um, we're just going to show you what works for us. Um, a lot of your professional bass anglers will have anywhere from 10 to 12, maybe more poles, especially when they're doing tournaments because they each have a different um, presentation on each. Um, he only has one. I have a couple. Dad, we have quite a few, but um, this is how we make it easy without having to carry everything on the boat. We're going to show you how we work with our swivels. Those are the gold swivels. And then my mom, she loves these. These are the silver. And they have, it, it's more of a bearing. Like, I don't know. That's, um, and they come in little packages. You can get them, you know, five to ten to a package. We got those at um, Bass, Bass Pro. Pro. And I prefer the swivels as opposed, hold on, as opposed to these ones. Um, I've had... They're about the same size, however. The gold one's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger, and I've actually had, um, I've hooked a bass, and it fought so hard that it broke, and I lost my lure. So, Those I prefer ones. the swivels. Um, and it's super easy. Uh, we use a polymer knot to hook these on. So, say this is your line. And it's coming from the pole over here. You have your pole over here. So what you want to do is you just get a loop like this. You just tie it in a loop. Here's the, ex the excess right here. And this is going to your pole. Let me have the silver one, Bubs, the one I prefer. And one more look. There it is, the silver one. So you're going to take this and you're going to put the loop through that hole. So I feed it through up. And then I go back down. So there you go. So the pole's here. Here's your loop right there. So then let me get myself enough to work with here. So then you're going to take this and you're going to tie it almost in a knot. You're going to put the loop back through the wire, like so. Then before you tighten it, you put the swivel back through the loop, and you take the excess. And you kind of have to lubricate it. There we it's go. It's also handy to have clippers. So yeah, I'm going to have you cut it in just a second. So, you want to crank it down, tighten it, and this polymer knot is really good because it keeps it taut on there and it won't get all um, tangled and, you know, it, when they're fighting, it's, it's got that reinforcement. So, that's what it looks like on there. So, this is coming from the pole. This is the excess. 
and then go ahead and cut that. All right. Like right where I usually cut it. Right here? Yep. And there you go. So there's the palomar knot. And here's your pole out here. And at this point, you just unclip it. And there's been times where he's actually been able to change his own presentation without me or dad helping. Um, and that's come in real handy uh, for all of us, you know, because dad will be hooking up a fish. I'll be hooking up a fish. And then he wants to change out his presentation. And he knows there's a swivel on there and he can just change it out himself. He's getting ready to show you how easy and how quick it is there. So if you have any questions, um, go ahead and let us know. And see, super quick, super quick, super easy. So for those of you who are just getting into it, or if you have little ones um, who, who like to be hands on themselves and, and do a lot of their own work, which he does on the boat, he does his own work on the boat. If he wants to, if he wants to claim the prize, then he's got to put in the work. Um, this is a great way to, to get them to, to go hands on and maybe have that confidence. So please uh, thumbs up, subscribe, let us know um, if you have any questions or if there's anything you want to see, and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Say bye. Bye.